Welcome everyone. My project is an efficient way of mining high dimensional data using semantic similarity search. I would like to thank Mr. R. Prabhu, my guide, for guiding me since the inception of this project. Abstract Fetching accurate results in a search attempt is always a challenging task as many times inappropriate contents and marginally accurate contents will be earned alongside with our search queries. This problem is alleviated by using a number of techniques in data mining environment. One such efficient scheme of mining high dimensional data sets using semantic similarity search is the key aspect of this paper. As an adding feature, we also introduce the concept of searching high dimensional text data from large data sets from Twitter effectively. The search results obtained will be accurate and will also contain both positive and negative results obtained using sentimental analysis technique. Titta Churukam Inayathil oru sollai theedum bodhu Naam theedum sollin porulai thavirthu Veru sila theedalgalum namakku kidaikum Anal, in the Tedal Padivinal, Namaka Payan Yedum Irikad. Maraga, Namudi Nija Tedal, Siranerangalil Tadipadigre. In the Pondra Nigal Vigalal, Nam or Sole Tedum Bolad, Tedalil Toivi Erpadigre. Tarav Churanga Tolinut Patil, Idur Mikapiri Saval. Itagaya Savala is Hirsaye, Silapudia Tolinut Pangal Ulane. Atagaya Tolinut Pangalai, Ara in the Pur Siran the Tedal Murea Yerpadi. Yenudia in the Titat in Nokamagam. In the Titatil Silamatrangalai Sidi, Adani Ur Nadapu Nere Velidaga Amika Patuladi, Adamatamaladi, Samuka Valaitalangalil, Velivarum, Sidigalayum, Migachiran the Muriel, Kana Kachidamaga Kayandi, Tedal Galai Sayamudium. Namad Titatirkaga, Twitter Yenapadam, Samuka Valaitalatil, Semika Patula, Taravagali, Namudia, Tedal Kierpe, Sirapaga Sail Patamudium. Tani Urunaber. Nam theodum theodal padiugalai patri, yen in inakirargal yen bade utpada, and the theodal kana poki epudi ulla the yen badayum, nam sirapaga sail padatamurium. Related works. We extensively conducted a brief research about this particular project, and we considered a lot of papers and have extracted contents from many internationally recognized authors. A few are listed below. The first one is by Christian Borget and Andreas Numberg, that is a fast fuzzy clustering of web page collections. The next was by Bo Pang and Lillian Lee, a sentimental educational sentiment analysis using subjective summarization based on minimum cuts. And the third one is by Ravi Parik and Martin Mavosati, Sentimental analysis of user generated Twitter updates using various classification techniques. And the final one was by Apur Agarwal and Boyu Z. It was fast sentimental fast analysis of, of web Twitter page collections. We study an extension of learning vector quantization that draws on ideas from fuzzy clustering, enabling us to find fuzzy clusters of ellipsoidal shape with a competitive learning scheme. This approach may be seen as a kind of online fuzzy clustering which can have advantages with respect to the execution time of the clustering algorithm. We demonstrate the usefulness of our approach by applying it to web page collections which are in general difficult to cluster due to the high number of dimensions and the special distribution characteristics of the data. A sentimental education Sentiment analysis using subjectively summarization based on minimum cuts. Sentiment analysis seeks to identify the viewpoints underlying a text span. An example, application is classifying a movie review as dot thumbs up or thumbs down. To determine this sentiment polarity, we propose a novel machine learning method that applies text categorization techniques to just the subjective portions of the document. Extracting these portions can be implemented using efficient techniques for ending minimum cuts in graphs. This greatly facilitates incorporation of cross-sentence contextual constraints.
sentiment analysis of user generated Twitter data updates using various classification techniques. A successful sentiment classification model based on the expansive Twitter data could provide unprecedented utility for businesses, political groups and curious internet users alike. For example, a business could gauge the effectiveness of a recent marketing campaign by aggregating user opinion on Twitter regarding their product. A user saying, I just used product A today and it just blows hard would detract from the overall sentiment whereas a user claiming this product is my favorite product ever would add to the overall sentiment. Similarly, a political lobbyist can gauge the popular opinion of a politician by calculating the sentiment of all tweets containing the politician's name. Sentiment Analysis of Twitter Data We examine sentiment analysis on Twitter data. The contributions of this paper are We introduce POS specific priori polarity features. We explore the use of a tree kernel to obviate the need of tedious feature engineering. The new features in conjunction with the previously proposed features and the tree kernel perform approximately at the same level, both outperforming the state of the art baseline. This is the system architecture of my project. Words are first clustered based on the useful features that is the relevant features and irrelevant features are filtered out. They are then subjected to a training set and from Twitter database the featured content that is the relevant content will be extracted and all these things will be clustered and based on the sentiment it will be segmented as positive and negative words that is negative tweets and the output will be fetched. Problem definition. Sentimental extraction deals with the retrieval and clustering of the opinion or mood conveyed in a book of unstructured text in relation to the domain of the document being analyzed. The extraction is performed in steps. At the lowest level we have rating words such as adjectives or adverbs that play a key role in determining polarity of a sentence. Example of positive rating words like include, good, awesome, excellent, etc. Example of negative rating words include bad, poor, abomination, etc. As a complete example in the sentence, the king is a sadist, the entity is king and the negative sentiment is being expressed about this entity. Techniques involved. The clustering scheme used in my project is based on various techniques. They are evaluation, potency, intensifiers, unigrams, n-grams, lemmas, negation, and opinion words. Evaluation. The evaluation dimension is fairly straightforward. It contains all choices of words, parts of speech, word organization pattern, conversational techniques, and discourse strategies that express the orientation of the writer to the current topic. Evaluation is often expressed by using adjectives. Example, it was an amazing show. Potency. This dimension contains all elements that general expresses whether the writer identifies and commits himself towards the meaning of the sentence or whether he dissociates himself. From a psychological standpoint, this phenomena are related to approach and avoidance behavior. Intensifiers. When expressing emotions, a lot of emotional words used do not express an emotion. But modify the strength of the expressed emotion, these words, the intensifiers can be used to strengthen or weaken both positive and negative emotions. This is simply the best movie. It's an adverb. He had cuts all over. A quantifier and where the hell have you been? Swearing. Modules involved. There are five modules involved in this project. The first one is input word phase. In this the user gives the input such as word or a phrase. This word or a phrase be any topic which he or she wants to gather information about the tweets. After entering the word he or she will click for next process. The next is Twitter tweet clustering. 
the initial tweet count which this system to collect is 100 tweets. Then these tweets are clustered using the canopy clustering to identify the most suitable tweets based on the input word or phrase given. Then the clustered tweets are inserted into the database of our system. Tweet analysis. From the database, the tweet analysis is done. Each tweet is queried and taken and is analyzed whether they have generalized form of the input word or phrase. Then these tweets are split into tokens which are used for tweet analysis. Sentimental analysis. The tokens which are generated are then matched with corpus in database to gather the sentiment of the words. Thus, whether this tweet is given positive opinion or negative opinion or neutral opinion. This value is stored matched with other tweet values. Result In this module, the tweets are used to construct the graph including pie chart about the total positive, negative and neutral sentiment based on the input word. This also gives the most favorable tweets which provides a user view which he or she can be able to view the tweets. Many might have a doubt on how to link Twitter with our application. Here is a video demonstration of the same. Twitter has an option of creating its own application this is one such method. I'm just logging into my Twitter account. I'm going to my applications tab and I'm clicking on create an application. All you have to do is to first give a name. So I'm just typing my name here. Give some random name as well. And then you can type some description about your application. Anything that is appropriate to uh, your application. And uh, you may specify a website link and agree to the terms and conditions and verify the capture so once you're done with that click on create a Twitter application you will now get a consumer key a secret key as you can see here on the screen you may use these keys in your application that is in your programming in the coding and uh, this will help us to connect to the Twitter database automatically. So ne you need not manually log into Twitter each and every time to use this project. Applications of this project, predicting a movie's success or awards it would fetch, that is the Grammys or Oscars, determining a product's features, for example mobile, camera, computers, car, bikes, etc. Assessing the impact of a political party or its strategies or about a politician itself. Obtaining marketing strategies for any organization or a film, a firm keen on publishing or simply we can search our own name among our friend list and communities to get to know what others think about you and so on. This is a video demonstration of my project. This is the output screen. Just click on search and type some name any name a product or a brand or a person or anything I'm just typing a name here I'm typing Modi and I'm searching for Narendra Modi or Prime Minister there you go you'll just get loading tweets and uh, there you go you have the output screen here so there are blue and red buttons here. These uh, blue buttons show the positive tweets and the red one shows the negative tweets. The orange amounts for the neutral tweets. In the center you have a graph. It shows the trends. 
I am clicking on a blue one. There you go. I get a positive treat about uh, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. I click another one and I'll get another tweet. Likewise, you may get any number of tweets, but as of now, we have written the program for 100 tweets. So we will consider 100 tweets and uh, it will be segmented. And when you click on the red one, you will get negative tweets as well. There you go. That's how uh, it works. Now I'm going to search for another uh, uh, name. I'm going to type this time. It will be IPL. So I'm going to go search for the Indian Premier League, the cricket tournament. The same applies here as well. Just click on the blue button. There you go. I'm getting a positive tweet about IPL. Some have tweeted positively. And when you click on the red one, you will get a negative tweet. So by this we can easily, you know, get to know about the mood of the people, what they think about IPL, what they think about Mr. Narendra Modi. All these things can be effectively and efficiently checked thoroughly. And this is how this project works.